Alrighty, welcome. This is our as yet to be named gaming podcast. I'm Fonzie. I'm Gavin. Yeah, I was gonna ask you about that too. Should I say this is Gavin or should I throw it to you? I feel like as a if I'm hosting the thing, then I should probably say your name and then you can chime in. I mean, I feel like most I mean, I don't really watch podcasts, but I know mm. what little I I watch of it. Usually people introduce themselves. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well we'll do that. I'll leave the gap. And I'll let you introduce yourself. Anyways, so we'll go over some of the news, Gavin. News. In a very natural way. <laughs> I have more names that you're probably going to hate that are that are also Slide here. one. A slide one of the names towards you? <laughs> no, no. Or slide one into my DMs. No. Let's, that's a good. We could do something like that. <laughs> um, I thought I'd start off with what we're playing. Uh, what have you been playing this week? Uh, more Slay the Spire. And oh, I yeah. think I think I just rage quit um, Apex Legends. Mm. So, what caused you to rage quit? The 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 cheating is just like I heard that I they were deleting or not delete, but um, but banning accounts, lots of people. Yeah, okay, half a million. But it's just like, like, I think last night it didn't help that I was drunk, so I was getting extra <laughs> mad at it. But it was just like. I so I die and then I just spectate my teammates and be like, there's this one guy. So there's just like this machine gun that takes a second to charge up. Okay. And he'd start charging as he was rounding the corners, and he knew exactly where everyone oh. was hiding around the corners. I'm yeah. like, dude, you're you're cheating. And his teammates are like, I don't know, <laughs> maybe. I don't think he's cheating. Tape. And then he and then he lost at the end because he was surrounded by three people. And it's okay. like an aimbot can only either an aimbot can only do so much. Or it's a crappy... Or they were cheating. And he's just like, see, they were the real cheaters. Mm. It's like, dude. But it's like my last three wins have been because of teammates cheating. Gotcha. And it's like all my victories are hollow now. <laughs> now, this like, is rampant on PC, though, right? Yeah, it's it's terrible on PC. It's probably fine on console. It's way harder to That's cheat why I gotta on console. That's got to play on console. I guess so. Maybe I'll Everyone's too to. dumb, or there's just no <laughs> way to implement those same cheats on console. <laughs> it's just harder. It can be done, but it is harder. Yeah, um, I did see that they they ban a bunch of people, but apparently it's not enough. Or I guess they're they're always going to be working against the flow of. Well, as long know. as it's free to play, mm. there's only so much you can do. Interesting. Yeah, uh, but I know PUBG had that issue too. Like they were constantly banning. People. PUBG was getting stupid. That was <laughs> <laughs> same problem. I think it just hit this one faster. Yeah, probably because they're using. I mean, the tech behind like wall hacks and aimbots really isn't that complicated. Like okay. I. I can't do it, but I know how it works and it wouldn't, you know, it's been around for years and years and years. It wouldn't be that hard to rewrite for any particular game. I know aimbot's only something I've heard recently with, with Fortnite because my nephew is super into it and he's, he's always, any, anytime he dies, he's claiming someone's using aimbot or I mean, they could be stream sniping or whatever because he, you know, he just sucks in general, but stream sniping, is he streaming? No, he's not, but that's one of the claims. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how I removed. He's like, oh, I must have lost because of that. Oh, man. But um, yeah, I didn't realize it was such a big deal, but or how it yeah. works in, in, in general, like the actual aimbot. Yeah. I, I'm not sure how that works. Well, it, it kind of comes down to, so you're reading, I, I think it's monitoring your GPU. And when it writes, like, for example, a particular piece of texture um, to, the, to the screen, yeah. it pays attention to where that texture is and will adjust your mouse movement to it. So if, like, let's say it's drawing, I don't know, a face texture. Gotcha. It's just like, all right, let's adjust the mouse to can the Can they face. hide the actual, I have no idea what I'm talking about, but can they hide the code for that texture so the program can't see what it is, what's not really. being drawn? Oh. Not, not anymore. The closest thing you can do in CS, uh, Counter-Strike is really good about it, or more so, mm -hmm. is what, what they do is they do a better job of culling which is where, like, let's say I'm on the other side of a wall to you. Um, so uh, I'm just not going to send that network data that there's uh. a person on the other side of the wall. So that prevents, to a certain degree, wall hacking. But at the end of the day, there's so only so much you can do against aimbotting. Yeah. Because that's if somebody's in front of you, like, you know. You have to share that info, I guess, from, like, yeah. computer to, co to computer. Yeah. Gotcha. So the only thing that could really stop it would be, like, if um, cloud gaming ever really took off and it was hosted on an, cause I can't read your GPU from there. I'm just reading what you're sending. Oh, me. So gotcha. that's the only way you can solve it. But again, that's latency. And, Can know, the game just funnel all the information through something else and not funnel. read 
the GPO, g- just like when you're playing, like if it was cloud gaming or streaming, you'd get whatever data that's being fed to you by that computer mm-hmm. and you're not seeing the GPU information. Can the program or the game itself just funnel information so it's choosing what to send or what to show? Uh, I'm not I'm not entirely sure I understand the question, mm. but probably you're just too dumb, Gavin. That's probably why. Yeah, I think that's it. I think that's I think, it. Uh, <laughs> I nailed it. I fixed it. I'm gonna probably I'm gonna probably not. I mean, it's been Fortnite with message. with my own anti cheat stuff. Um, it's been it's pretty difficult. Like I I I think some of the stuff I would do, and it would slow down my game massively, even though it was such a simple game. Um, oh, implementing all the different stuff. Yeah, just like protecting mm. one particular piece of memory. Like I would have duplicates of it, and I would move that memory every frame. Okay. And it was like I had I put it out there, and I was I I gave it to my community. I'm like, hey, can you break this? And I think it was broken in a day. Mm. Like people are just so adaptive. I think the only one that I don't have. Uh, didn't have broken was when I was breaking the information into half and then splitting that all over the computer or okay. all over the RAM and then moving that around every frame. Like that was the only one that didn't get broken, but I'm sure if someone really committed themselves to it, cause someone, I, I knew somebody without me telling what they were, what I was doing. They were like, I know what you're doing. And if I really <laughs> wanted to, I could, you know, hack mm. it. I just don't want to. I'm like, all right, That's fair enough. When you talk about this, like, it's just a testament to you as a person who's interested in, in develops. Like, I have no interest in doing any of that. Right. Like, just troubleshooting all that, I'm just, pff, yeah, not for me. But that's awesome that you have that ability to, like, stick on it. And, you know, because it's a lot of solving problems. I feel like it's less almost, like, at the end of the day, being able to create something and more of, I've got to make this work. It's I've got to fix this. Yeah. Which, I mean, it's kind of the... It's not the fun part of it. Like you don't gotcha. want to do it. You'd like to, yeah. you know, go back to the NES days where it's like if somebody cheats, like who really cares? Their score is <laughs> not going online. And it's not meant for you to play for more than level, anyways. Like a lot of those right. games. <laughs> they're not gonna jump into an online match and be flying around ruining everyone's good time. Like I, I had a buddy who that was a problem with his game, and he had um, some decent anti-cheat technology, and some guy had gotten around him. But the problem he didn't have was he didn't implement admin tools. Okay. So. <laughs> When this guy was just flying around with infinite ammo and his rocket launcher. There's no way to stop him. Yeah, he had no way of stopping him. <laughs> he was just like, well, I guess that's... <laughs> it's his game now. I'll just send it to him. <laughs> yeah. But he just he would go through and clear all the servers until everyone stopped playing. It's Dang. Like, yeah. Well, that's nuts. What else? Uh, so you rage quit Apex. And rage quit Apex. A lot more, whatchamacallit. Um, yeah, I think besides that, I've just been playing a lot of Star Realms on my phone, which I need to stop playing mm. that much of. But I haven't seen that, that either. It's uh, it's just like a, a tabletop card game, oh, okay. um, but it's the digital version, and it's really nice because um, it handles all the... like I like the game, but in the digital version, it handles all the shuffling for you, and it does it so quickly. And um, oh. So rounds take like 10 minutes as opposed to 20 because I'm a slow shuffler. Star shuffling. Realms, interesting. Yeah, it's fun. Never seen it. Hmm. I'm not a big card game fan, but I mean that's probably why I just haven't checked it out. Yeah. Well, it's just nice that I think I mentioned to you before. Like, I don't really like collectible card games like Magic the Gathering or Pokemon or I yeah. don't know Yu-Gi-Oh because the stress of making that huge deck is just too much for me. But in these games, like there's a row and you buy stuff as you're playing, oh, and okay. so you build your deck really quick and you're building it around what your opponent is building. And so, you know, you have this adaptive strategy and it's really funny. You're hoping to get the cards that you want, but you're also hoping that your opponent doesn't taking it. Interesting. Um, I don't know. I, I find that super entertaining and really fun. Now, did you play Gwent? I want to say it's called the Witcher. Uh, I never game? did. No. Okay. I don't okay. know how that I, I assume that's more like Pokemon or Magic the Gathering where you gain cards okay. as you go and you try and build up the perfect deck or mm. Is I thought I, d- I want it built around just um, romancing other characters and, and having sex with them. I know I can do that in Witcher, <laughs> but I want a, their portion of that of that board game or that card game just based around those. <laughs> so, so I don't know if they, they're working on that. Um, I know there's a, I don't know if they've announced 
<laughs> fantasy boning the yeah, board game. Just just that portion of it. Oh my God. Um, I don't know if they announced doing a, an an equivalent card game for um for Cyberpunk or if, if Ooh. But, uh, that could be cool. That'd be really cool. Mm-hmm. Man, I hope that game's good. I think it, I don't yeah. I don't think it'll be bad. If nothing else, it won't be bad. Th- yeah, that's the thing. Um, I cannot wait. Um, we did talk about last week how they're going to be at E3 in some form, whether it's just right. like shake hands or whatever, kiss babies, but they're going to be there. In some <laughs> form. I think it was good, too, that they also at the same time said that, you know, yes, we're going to be at E3. Also, it's still a really long ways off. Yeah, it's done when it's done. Yeah. Okay. I know they just celebrated their, was it 2077th tweet? Is a, just like a homage to whatever's going on, but yeah. Interesting. Um, so as far as what I've been playing, I've been trying to like jump around, but um, I did mention last week that I played Metro Exodus. Ooh. I downloaded when it came out. Gotcha. Um, it's cool. It's just a huge bummer. It's like, uh, oh, okay. you know that movie, The Road? Um, it's based on another book. I forget the. Oh, you know, I know what McCarthy. you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's kind of like that, where it's just like kicking you in the balls the whole time. But it is really cool. It's just less arcadey, mm-hmm. more, which I understood that was from going right. to be from the get-go. But like playing that against Far Cry New Dawn, I'm just way more interested in kind of jumping in mm-hmm. this d- into this world that's nuts and then and then popping out. But gotcha. I did finish Far Cry New Dawn. It was really cool. Oh, you finished it? Yeah, it, it's pretty short. And it's a mm-hmm. it's like a limited version of the original map. It's using that old map as a basis, but it's a limited version of it. Now, did you um did you play the um what was it Far Cry three or whatever? No, 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 Far Cry five. Five, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I did play five. I didn't beat it. But okay. um, something else came along where I just kind of lost uh, interest. But I really dug five. I thought they what they were doing was cool. It's so beautiful. Do you know how it ends then? I ended up watching videos afterwards, and then okay. you kind of figure out through just by the dystopian nature of New Dawn that yeah. some shit hits the fan. Yeah. I, I didn't realize it was because of whatever happens in that yeah. in that uh, in five. But yeah. So to my understanding, the ending of five is kind of a kick in the balls. Like, hey, everything you've done was not worth it. Yeah, s- spoilers for no one that uh, <laughs> yeah. Far Cry Five, but yeah, um, you have yeah. that cult that's taken over. They yeah. end up getting nukes. They end up shooting off the nukes, and you're basically left in this bunker with the main guy, Joseph Seed. I want to say his name is. Oh, you're in the bunker with him. Yeah, again? and you're just his gimp or whatever. He's you're just with him. Oh God. <laughs> It's not super dark that way. It's just that you're left to kind of like you're just stuck with them kind of thing. But right. th- that's how they so end you it. eat him, right? Uh, or he eats you. He's <laughs> he's in the, the next one. He's in New Dawn, too. He right, right, right. But, um, Interesting. So yeah. that uh, does it sort of – is this game sort of the ice pack to the kick in the balls that the previous one was? For does sure. kind of take away some of the tendies? Yeah, but it's like a multicolored, like, funfetti ice pack because it's more ridiculous and mm-hmm. just fun than the than five. Five was already fun and over the top anyways, but this one's really yeah. just kind of nuts with it. But uh, You still yeah. get animals. You do, yeah. Um, I think I unlocked a warthog. There was a bear in the last one, cheeseburger. I think that was kind of the top, the pinnacle. Yeah. Um, His name is Cheeseburger. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, uh, no, it's really dope. Um, and then I was just on a kick, so I played Far Cry 3. There was like a slightly remastered version for, for newer consoles of uh, Far Cry Far Cry 3? 3? Ooh, Yeah, really? that one had Voss, if you remember that villain. That was a great one. Yeah, right? And that's when they were introducing those really kind of um, just fleshed out villains that were nuts. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And yeah. I'm, I'm replaying it, and I love it. And he's awesome. He's, he's just super crazy. I still really like, though, with that one. I never did finish it, but I always liked the fact that it it was one of the first ones to introduce that your character is a bit of a psychopath. He likes the violence. Oh, right. You start to unlock that. with Yeah. Him. And yeah. that really cool scene where it's the big chase scene and, like, the girl that you're rescuing is just scared, terrified, and you're just loving blowing up all those cars. That. And she's like, "What is wrong with you?" It's <laughs> like, "This is a this is a video game. This is awesome." Never yeah, had that question asked that. before. Your friends start to go like, "Yeah, whoa!" Like you're something's happening to you. But yeah, yeah. No, yeah, I'm playing that. Um, I think I sent you an image or a video of the this other one. Pipe Push Paradise. Pipe Push Paradise. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's a weird little puzzle game. You've been playing it then? Yeah. Well. As much as I can. It's it's actually really hard and um, to the point where I don't want to play it anymore, but I like the art style and it's really cute. And yeah, you can move this pipe around, but you have very limited movement. And yeah. so as soon as you fuck up, you're just, you're done. You can reset the level really easy though. Yeah. But um, so it's constantly like, oh, I messed up. I messed up. And just over and over and over again to where you are crying. But I'd be curious to see, like, it definitely reminds me of like, uh, have you heard of 
Stephen's sausage roll or something like no. that? <laughs> okay. It kind of reminds me of that. This is a very simple puzzle game. Yeah. Um, but it's really hard. Um, but it's just got very simple controls and you're moving a thing around. Gotcha. And, uh, solving well, these little yeah. puzzles. But yeah, to me, it kind of reminds me of Stephen's, Stephen's sausage roll mixed with, uh, what was that game from, um, what did I say? The vis- the visitor? No, not. Oh, the witness. The witness. Yeah. I was a big uh, fan of the witness. Yeah, just and and I think that's neat and uh, almost with a little bit of like Mario Tennis with the whole like campaign adventure because I saw like you're interacting with other people. I didn't get that far. No, I was like, the oh, first you haven't three puzzles. Okay. Like, oh, this is hard. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I just had respect for it. But no, looks cute. Yeah. It'd be interesting to see if they could come out with like a hardcore mode where it's just like no resets or you have to reset the whole game. Well, yeah, I, <laughs> yeah, I guess so for some lunatics out there. <laughs> but still love cute things just masquerading as really hard puzzle games. Yeah. Um, just Cause 4, I played that. That was actually released as under Xbox's uh, Game Pass thing. It was a free really? game. as a, Yeah, that was dope. Um, yeah, so I was playing that and it's that's actually really, really... I love the, the last one, 3. Yeah. Um, and I didn't expect to like it as much as I did. I think I bought it like on discount. Yeah. But um, no, yeah, it's awesome. And it's beautiful. Yeah. I was very surprised with Just Cause 4. It feels like when it came out, I heard about it for like a day. Mm. And then it was gone. I wonder what it came out against. You know, it might have been wrapped up in. I feel like yeah. Red Dead was around the same time. But yeah. uh, I wonder if it was just kind of swallowed in some other news that happened. It could have been. Yeah. yeah. I, didn't, I wonder if it was Red Dead. It's also very similar to the last one, so I think there's kind of a fatigue that could be setting in yeah. with that. My whole thing with the uh, when I was playing the third one too is like, oh, this is Iron Man. I'm Iron Man. Let's make an Iron Man game. <laughs> and so they're the would be the perfect candidate to make an Iron like uh, you yeah. have um, with Spider Man, um, Sony or sorry Marvel rather giving the rights to, oh God, not Sucker Punch, but um, uh, um, not Naughty Dog. It's another Sony owned. Was it uh, not Sucker Punch? No, it was not. I'm going to Google Spider-Man PS4. It's um, it's a really well-known uh, developer, Insomniac. Oh, giving right, them the, right, right. the the reins to it. Like, just give uh, the develop developer for Just Cause 4 yeah. the same thing. Because, I mean, that they would be just, they would fit in so well. Like, just your movements and what's going on, and it's nuts. Yeah. They do a perfect job with that. And then I finally jumped into Zelda Breath of the Wild. It's yeah. I'm getting over that hurdle of, and then maybe it's just once once you sit something down or you rather like leave a, gu- a game for a while and then jump back into it, sometimes things will click more. Yeah. And now totally I'm just agree. like flowing through. I'm still getting stuck, but it's actually making a lot more sense. Yeah. Uh, and that that's sort of the way I am right now too with, I, that's the other thing I've been playing is uh, a Super Mario Odyssey. Ooh. Um, and I'm to the adorable level um, with the snow people. And they want to have a sledding contest Why or something? Why am I uh, blanking on the snow people? Oh, it's so cute. Well, it's like, it's definitely one of my favorite, like, it seems like there are two kind of levels. Yeah. Uh, in Super Mario Odyssey, there's these. Oh, God, yes, yes. They're, yeah, they're, like it's, little they're so yetis. freaking cute. And when they yeah. wave and their little sleeve is dangling down. <laughs> but, uh, it, it, you know, I've noticed. The race was hard. Uh, but I haven't done it yet. I'm, like, okay. right there. I think I, yeah, I just unlocked the ability to do it. I didn't do it. But, um. I, th- I think the thing with it... Oh, no, I did do it. Hmm. Where well, you're rolling... You're yeah. not rolling them, but you are rolling as the guy. Yeah, and you got to bounce off the walls just right, yeah. which was kind of fun. Um, oh, you know, I think there's a moon tied to, like, acing or just getting a faster time on that one. That's where it was difficult. Yeah. But there's, like, a top-tier moon or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. But it's definitely, like... It's interesting to see the two... I know it's two different types of levels at that game. One is, like, New Donk City or that one in the desert... Where it's like, here's a huge level, go slug it out. And those are kind of fun. Like, I thought New Donk City was pretty good. I thought the desert one was really good. But the yeah. ones I like more are, here's a really short storyline. You can beat it in 20 uh. minutes if you try. And then you can just screw off in this level for as long as you want. Mm. There's like, you know, there's 40 more moons here that you can grab. So if you want to, you can. And it's like, I find myself way enjoying those ones more. With the open... Because- yeah, because yeah. I'm just playing at that point. I'm just yeah. having fun for fun's sake. And then I, yeah, and that's that's one of those levels. So I'm really, really enjoying that right now. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, that when you say that, that reminds me of, I think one of the levels, you're in an island, 
Yep, that was one of my favorites. Okay, yeah, and it's yeah. a smaller kind of experience, but yeah, it's still really deep, even though it's a smaller thing. Yeah, uh, yeah, no, I really loved Odyssey. Yeah, I was a big fan. I was able to get all the moons, but I wanted. I can't to, believe you got all the moons. I wanted to kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> the last three, man, don't talk to me, don't touch me. I'm just like, there's a one point in New Dog City where you have to jump rope a hundred times. For some reason, you had to it get a hundred. Yeah, well, I think the first moon is like ten. Yeah, and they're just like, yeah, here, have that, and then it's like, oh, you really want to beat this game? A hundred of those, it's insane. You didn't do the uh, glitch. I tried glitching. <laughs> yeah, you could do a couple of things where you could glitch, and I could not do it. Yeah, or uh, was it you turn into a letter, and then uh, if I you stand in it in the jump rope, yeah. it counts as jumping. Just by standing there. And yeah, so you can go crosses. to it, you can go forever. I don't know if I tried that one. Yeah. Mm. It's probably patched out because I mean that goes to a global online leaderboard. Oh, you're right. Yeah, it does. That was one thing I never figured out though. With that New Dong City, is I I know so there's the letters to form like Mario or something yeah. in the park. I couldn't figure out how to do that. Mm. I'm just like, there's nothing here. I know it gets to be a thing. I couldn't figure out how to activate that. I don't know whether it comes later. I still don't know what those giant block things are. In the same little town square area, or yeah, well, there's I mean there's those little block things in every single level. And I don't know what they do. Oh, I think they're like a silver or a, a gray, like just like yeah, a cube. Just yeah, a yeah. slab. You unlock the, yeah, that's like the, the game plus kind of thing that uh, yeah, you will eventually unlock those. Yeah. Only Luigi. <laughs> He's he, he shows up in those little balloon levels that you, they're yeah. like extra content. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm glad you're playing that. Uh, yeah. That was really, really fun. Uh, I just love that it's almost like a love letter to all the other Mario games. Like there's just so much they can yeah. pick from and include and Easter eggs. Oh, yeah. And it adds so much to, yeah, for so sure. So Zelda Breath of the Wild, it's dope. Yeah, yeah. I, I I beat one of the bosses. I, you can go anywhere, so I'm not sure what the actual order would be, but um, there's Geru- no order. It's, yeah, I, I imagine so. So I went to Gerudo Town, and uh, I beat the. There's like a, a gang leader. I beat him, and then eventually there's this Colossus looking thing. Oh, you did that one. Dope. I think that was the one I did last. Oh really? Oh no, that was second to last. But still, yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe I should back out and not be there. But it's no, still no, fun. No. But yeah, that was a good. W- I really liked. I mean, I think all four of the like stories that you kind of have to do before the Colossus. But that was gotcha. that was definitely one I thought was really really good. Definitely like fighting the ninjas or whatever they are. Yeah, they um, disappear and reappear. That was hard. Yeah, and now they're just gonna show up in your adventures like as you're moving around. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> at least where I'm at now, they're almost like one hit kills. So I was really trying to sneak around that level and just not, you know, mess with them at all. Mm. But uh, yeah, I just need to upgrade my, I think I have like five hearts or whatever. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. That was my, you know, one of my only issues is that I'd get turned off from an area because I'm just not sure if I'm not leveled up enough and then I'll try and then die. I'm not sure. Wait, am I just supposed to kind of keep trying or if I'm, or I'm, I'm, I should really just back away and come back later. But um, yeah, with the Drudo Town, I, s- I seem to be, seem to be able to handle all the stuff they're throwing at me. Yeah, it's like not too crazy. No, I don't think. I don't know. It just depends on how how you want to play it. I definitely mm. was just trying to win, regardless. But I also really early on put a lot of effort into upgrading my armor. Okay. And that helped out huge, especially because I went full stamina before I got any hearts. Gotcha. So I was only rocking three hearts for a really long time, but I had really good armor. Okay. So, so I think I kind of like every other one, I just kind of slowly rotate around the oh, sure, abilities sure, sure. or whatever. Yeah. But yeah, no, I'm excited to to beat it one day. Yeah. Next year, maybe. Is that Turok on there? That is Turok. That's one of our new stories. So we have eight new stories total. Um, the first one was earlier last week, but Nintendo announced a, like a VR, you know, expansion or yeah, addition to the Labo. Labo. Uh, I thought it was neat. Um, it kind of, you know, online anyways, there was like mixed reactions to it. I mean, I thought it was cool. Of course, it's not going to um, replace your, you know, whatever VR visor at home that you right. have. But, but uh, no, I thought it was cool. Yeah, it's de- it's definitely interesting. My biggest concern that someone pointed out is um, the resolution. Yeah, it's like is, 720p or something. Yeah, compared to like an Oculus Rift, which has a ridiculously high resolution. Like this is just gonna like blurry and in your face. <laughs> yeah, there's gonna be a you know a spur of just kids going blind after this. Yeah, yeah. Thing, yeah. But, but hopefully they'll bring back uh, Virtual Boy games. <laughs> um, that would be pretty great. That would be really really cool. Just them going, you know, just kind of a inside like yeah, we know that thing sucked. This probably sucks too. Here you go. Yeah. But um, yeah, sixty bucks. 
Thanks. Uh, no, sorry. Um, start a set for forty bucks, and then expansions will go for twenty. Because there's other yeah. little weird things that will pop on this mm-hmm. that don't make any sense. But yeah, I like them exploring that. Why not? You know, if it's just for a and yeah, it's not going to be a high end experience like uh, Oculus, but it's something to yeah make your kids go blind in the meantime. It could be fun. But yeah, kids are willing to go blind. I totally would have gone <laughs> blind for a virtual boy. Right. Oh, yeah, me too. I remember uh, our Sears in town had one on display. Yeah. But I don't remember ever like trying it for some reason. I I remember seeing it being there, but never been able to try it. But oh yeah. man, I remember walking by just thinking, oh, that's dope. Played so much. Uh, Mario Tennis on the one in my Walmart. Really? Yeah. Nice. It was fun. And your eyes just bled. Like you look away and you're just bleeding. I never had any problems. I heard oh, really? a lot of kids say they had problems with it. I never had a single problem. Dang. You're like the one kid in their focus group. <laughs> it's working with him. Was, it works fine. Let's put me. all our chips on this kid. Hopefully yeah. there's <laughs> yeah. a million of these kids. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to open up the next one in here. Yeah. So uh, Nintendo, there's a... Announcement with a lot of games recently, but um, so they're putting out um, on Switch Turok and Turok 2 from the 64. It's a motherfucking Turok on Switch. I'm really stoked for this. I love Turok, the, the first mm-hmm. one. I'd be curious to see. So they did not that long ago, they did a PC re release. Yeah. And which one are we getting? Are we getting just a straight? I'm not sure. I'm sure it's going to be the. Which was interesting because I know you could edit in the settings like get rid of the ridiculously close fog that uh, Turok had, and yeah. it, the levels look so weird when you can see everything. Um, yeah, I don't know. That'd be um, when are we gonna get the uh, re-release of the Xbox version or the 360 version, man? Oh, did you ever play that? Play a little bit of it. It, it was. Uh, I know it got a lot of bad reviews. It looked interesting. It wasn't a good Turok game. Gotcha. It, it seems okay. like they just kind of splattered the name on it or got the rights to it and yeah. from something else. But Yeah. That was... I mean, it'd be nice to get, like, you know, we don't really... It'd be nice to have that representation again with, like, we have, like, no Native American representation. Right. Like Prey lo- was the only other one. Yeah, we lost our one in Prey when yeah. they re-released that. Like Yeah, which I wasn't a fan of that remake. Really? Yeah. yeah. Interesting. I might have not have been in the right mood for it, but uh, I had the goop gun, and I'm just kind of like, well, it's not for me. <laughs> and I just pieced out of there. But, uh, yeah, um, like the scary aspect to it, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, it had me just missing. Um, I know that you can download, at least on, like, Xbox One, I want to say. Of course, you can get on PC, but that original Prey, it is around, kicking around where you can download it. I would one day love to finish it because it had a lot of unique mechanics, and it yeah. was still, like, an old-school game. And it had like it did fun stuff with those portals, right? Which I still feel like not enough has been done with portals in mm. games. Like people only use them for, or the really main case it was used for was you know the portal portals. Portal, yeah, yeah. Where it'd be so much cooler if you could do weird stuff with like a house layout or something like where huh. you, you know you can go into a room that's bigger than it should be, or you know that was the oh, thing they did. In Prey, I remember that was cool. Is you go through this little box portal, and you came out, and you're in this little glass jar that was on the table, and you're like, "Whoa, I think you're right. what? Yeah, that was so cool. That was such a cool moment. Almost really playing on the whole alien world and how you're just yes. kind of abducted and you're being tested on and stuff. Absolutely. Yeah. No, I, I really, yeah, I was also a big fan of that. I never beat it as well. Yeah. Cool guns too. On uh, Prey. Yeah. Yeah. I know they use a lot of like organic stuff from the actual well, aliens as guns or weapons. That was awesome. Um, Yes, I'll be uh, very interested interested to see. Some of these ports, I'm finding out that they're actually pretty expensive for being uh, such an old game that's coming to Switch. Like, I want to say Turok is 30 bucks. I know... Uh, huh. Right. And I know um, Resident Evil 4 is also 30 bucks on the Switch. Oh. And I just don't want to really pay 30 bucks for a game. I already have it. A couple of different consoles. Yeah. Um, but who knows? Maybe Interesting. I'm so yeah, we had Turok on there. So I'm not sure if you're following Days Gone very much, not but at it's all. a okay, not at all. So it's a PS4 exclusive. It's one of their last ones, at least for this generation. Really, but um, it looks super cool. It's like a just a more fast-paced Last of Us or like a Walking Dead yeah. the game. So it's still somewhat serious, but their whole thing is just like hordes of enemies. So yeah. sort of Dead Rising, more serious Dead Rising, but um, the reviews were coming out and they're or uh, sorry, not the reviews, but the 
some of the early impressions and it's mm-hmm. getting you know good results but oh it is good yeah because yeah. like it was kind of yeah wonky there at first but yeah yeah what little gameplay i've seen of it just doesn't look that interesting i think the thing that has me curious is i hear the weather really affects things oh interesting so doing i thought i heard yeah doing i know stuff. there's like a, a, um, a day and night cycle yeah but um the weather at play would be interesting too yeah but uh, I'm actually uh, I'm I was kind of on the fence. This this is actually more interesting. The fact that they they've gotten some impressions out and they're yeah. pretty positive. I really wish the main character looked more iconic though, because this just he's kind of yeah he's definitely an everyman generic guy. Yeah. Whereas even like you look at The Last of Us, and even though you know it could just be some guy you see on the street, he still looked iconic, and I think he looked extra yeah. iconic next to Ellie. Right. Right. That's what really popped out. Yeah, but um, yeah, and that's kind of um, it's almost a bummer for them because this is gonna it, it calls a lot of the stuff that's in The Last of Us, right? And just visually and kind of thematically, but if they can kind of separate and, and just say this is more of a open world situation, yeah. then yes, yeah, you have this bike which you can ride that through the trees, can. and from what I've heard from the early impressions from from various sites, the driving isn't an issue. You know, you can go where you want. Your bike does break down. That's part of the whole game mechanic. You have to upgrade it and stuff. But well, that's cool then. Yeah. That'd be kind of fun. Then yeah, I feel like it's just this is just more fun and less of a like oh, a shit. Last of Us kind of thing. But it almost. I mean, the other thing it kind of reminds me of is what was that weird like Dead Nation or something? Uh, yeah, there was an Xbox exclusive that is Dead something. It's a zombie Dead game. State. I think it was Dead State, State of Decay. State of Decay. There yeah, we go. Yeah. Which was interesting, although I think that definitely went with the more – and that that was the thing I thought was neat about State of Decay is, to my understanding, it went with more traditional zombies. They're more slow right. and lumbering. You don't really see that much anymore. Yeah. Um, but they're still deadly, whereas this is going with the modern, you know, sprinting zombies. Yeah. Yeah, and there are, there are different enemy types. I know that whatever that virus is in um, Days Gone can affect animals, so there's, like, zombie bears. Ooh, like don't like. <laughs> yeah. No, don't want to fight a zombie bear. Well, you're going to fight it. Mm. Okay, so, yep. Just wondering if how you're looking at Days Gone. Well, but, um, if it's good, that's just one more reason I should have bought a PS4. Five. Well, what are we on now? Uh, PS4. Okay. Um, grandpa, all right. But, uh, yeah. Go, so p- I- go play on Nintendo, <laughs> Billy. Yeah. But I think, you know, you will have a chance, I'm sure, really at the official end of that cycle, You'll have, you know, $100, $150 um, consoles. You can just jump in and play yeah. all those exclusives or on the next one, I guess. Yeah, my PS4 Slim. Get your, yep, PS4 Slim, uh, which plays into this next uh, new story. So, Damn it. yeah, so Xbox One. there's more and more rumors about a discless Xbox One um, being an- announced in some capacity next month. Or, sorry, um, very soon at the very least of the next E3. But, um yeah, so this is coming from a couple of different outlets. The Verge um, is reporting on it as uh-huh. we're reading it now. But, yeah, so I don't know. What are your thoughts on them doing that? I'd buy it. Yeah? Yeah. I well, mean, it partially just because I'm my PC can no longer keep up with these modern games. Gotcha. Yeah. But, yeah. Well, then this isn't going to be a step up from that. I imagine like an Xbox One S isn't going to be you're playing in 4K or anything like that with anything nuts. No, but it'd still be like when people develop for a fixed system, you know, it's going to run at a fairly consistent rate. Yeah, I'm not going to be worried about frame drops. When I install a new game, I'm not going to have to spend, you know, 40 minutes figuring out what settings I can max, what settings I have to minimize. Like, it's just going to, you know, plug and play, or in this case, download and play with these games, which would be yeah, nice. Yeah, why do you bother with that at all? Like, how much of your life have you wasted just fiddling with menus on a, on a PC? <laughs> a lot, okay. Well, it's like, yeah, my, my system's kind of older, and it's, I mean, it used to be i just go through and set everything to max and go. Yeah. Um, but nowadays, it's like, even though, like, you know, to this day, Crisis still looks better than a lot of the games that come out, I still have to go through and figure out, like, yeah, kind of and that I can works. run on max, 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 whereas now I still have to go through and be like, all right, where am I going to the min? <laughs> what am I... Yeah, it always was too much work for me. Like, but, uh, you know, I respect it. I get it. Yeah. Um, Anthem was a hassle to get going. I imagine. <laughs> I was, you got to update drivers and all sorts of shenaniganry. God, see, I don't want to do any of that. Which, I'll play that dance here soon to play Division 2. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. that's I have nothing about that um, so far but uh, on the docket. But, yeah, I've, the, the more and more I see about it, at least that it, the fact that it dropped, what, today, tomorrow? 
Well, there are like tiers. So it? yeah, if you paid extra Anthem money, like that. which I'm not. I mean, but Anthem. Well, Anthem it was if you're in the what is it Origin Club or whatever. Yeah, you're paying it, the fifteen dollars a month. I, so. Well, there that was some kind of EA thing where I paid five bucks and I got to play it, but it was like for ten hours, and then eventually I had to buy the actual game. Right. But yeah. Yeah, Division Two. I'm super excited for. I've been watching a lot of streams of it, and everyone. Basically, the consensus of it's Division One, but better. So if you yeah. like Division One, you're gonna like it. Uh, and it looks like the end game is actually there. So this is kind of the game that a lot of people have been wanting, myself included. Gotcha. So With the black zone or whatever it's the called. Dark zone, the dark yeah. zone, yeah. That that'll be that'll be interesting. Although it sounds like they maybe got rid of some of the risk reward in the dark zone, which okay. I don't necessarily love, but I mean, I was probably gonna fall victim to it regardless. So mm. it's probably for the best for me. Gotcha. Um, but yeah, I'm 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 really excited for it. I'm definitely gonna play it um, when I couple of paychecks in here <laughs> yeah i'm gonna wait i'm i'm curious though yeah i'm more curious than i was last time for sure yeah but um uh, we'll wrap up this xbox one um i don't i was curious what do you think if they are if they were to remove the blu-ray drive how much can they really you know cut a deal like how cheaper can it really be i think a base model 1s at like the 5 gig is around 250 300 well um, go look it up real quick how yep. much is a blu-ray drive because that's what they're paying for yeah, a that's bit true. Less. But they're getting some kind of like proprietary or like a deal, right? Whoever makes these Blu-ray players, but a little bit of a deal. Um, oh, I feel a cramp coming in my leg. I'm gonna just like knock the table out <laughs> of my leg. Um, yeah. So while we're doing the Xbox One S, there were Black Friday deals for like 200, but I know it's not normally like 200. that. 200. So Walmart does have a Xbox One S, one terabyte for 209 dollars. One terabyte. That's pretty good. Yeah. He can fit. Is it not a bundling thing? Nope. It's just base model. That's great. That's, yep. That's fantastic. So assuming it does stay, so yeah, like 250 for the Microsoft Microsoft store for 500 gigabytes, um, yeah. 300 bucks for a 1S with a Division 2. So yeah, uh, wh- what do you think they'd really drop it to? Like, I'm going to look up Blu-ray drive. I'd take it to that. I mean, I think 200 is really as low as they need to go. So 60 bucks, 80 bucks for a Blu-ray yeah. drive, 30 bucks, yeah. I think. But, I mean, we also have to keep in mind, what do you think of that uh, translucent phantom I, I haven't looked into I've seen an image of it. Oh, is that what's going on? I thought it was fading into another image. Yeah. Uh, that's that's awesome. I want a full transparent, though. Don't bother with the, the fade. But that is dope. I like the fade. I think mm. the fade is cool. I just love the – I'm a Atomic Purple kid where, you know, if you right. do that. With the Game Boys and yeah. whatnot. If my skin was like that, pff, I'd do that every day. Like, that would live my life. When are we going to get the Atomic – purple tattoos out i think that's uh yeah i'll sign up for it i'll test drive it <laughs> i'll test drive that. i guess you're <laughs> locked in you can't really test it yeah but yeah i don't know i was wondering um i feel like just ballparking 150 maybe that's dramatically cheap though to like bill yeah. offer but the thing is with them especially with microsoft they're on their last legs they're just not they're, they're just at the end of the cycle being the clear loser i guess so they're more willing to take these chances and right. just say here you go and it comes with you know, Game Pass, or maybe for like fifty bucks more Game Pass. Yeah, but they just want to get more people on board, and that's the way to do it. Yeah, and I do think the Game Pass is a good deal, and especially I don't use that much as a PC player, but I feel like if I was a console player, it'd be like a no-brainer, especially yeah. with like s- stuff coming out, like the new uh, Halo or the Halo trilogy that was just announced, or not trilogy because it's the more Master Chief than, collection. Yeah, yeah. And what do you, what do you think about the fact that they're doing them one at a time? The, now, this is when it's going. That's one of the news stories. So that's them going to PC, right? They're finally releasing the Master yes. Chief uh, version for PC. It is one at a time. I mean, I don't know if I really have a a point of view on it. Right. The fact that it's one at a time. Um, yeah, I don't know. I know that uh, that uh, Reach is coming. Yeah, to it. that's the first one. That's the first one. Because they're going, I guess, canonically. Right, right. So I guess that gives them more of a chance to work out bugs or, f- yeah. you know... I know that in the official press release or that that um, whatever they actually the stream that they announced it, yeah. uh, it gives them a chance to since they're all 4K, rather than drop them all at once and wait that long, they can just kind of incrementally release them and people get it each episode or each version faster. Yeah, um, yeah, I think it's cool. Yeah. Um, it gives PC players a chance to uh, play it. I know uh, Halo on PC has always been a big deal. Oh yeah, and always they've always left the PC crowd hungry. So I'd uh, be curious to see if. Uh, Ninja came back to Halo. Oh, I don't know. Because that's what he started on. 
Oh, really? Yeah. He was originally a professional Halo player for years and years and years. What? Back like two years ago? Like when did he really start? He's uh, been streaming? doing this since like back when I think I think somebody, he said he started streaming basically day one when it was available on Justin TV. Wow. Okay. Like he's been, he's been doing this for ever. So it's kind of, it. that's why I always thought it was cool when he, when he went mega big. Yeah, because it's like this guy has been grinding. Interesting. I didn't know that grinding was grindable. (laughs) And he's I mean, he's always kind of been like, you know, somewhat successful, like viewership in like the hundreds to thousand. Yeah. But not not really breaking to my knowledge, like two thousands and stuff like that. He's just somewhat popular. But now, like, yeah, now he's a household name for sure. Yeah. I guess that's why I always kind of mentally crapped on him, because I just assumed just like every other streamer, it seems like they just kind of skyrocket. And but I yeah, I don't really realize that a lot of them are putting in tons of work to get there. Yeah. But no, that's cool. I didn't realize yeah. he was a, he started on uh, Halo. Oh yeah, that was his. He was great too. You watch some old gameplay footage. I mean, he's still great at like you watch him play any game, right? And I know he's, that he's, he's yeah. ridiculous, but at least on Fortnite, I've seen him in videos there. But yeah, he's he's very good. Yeah, and he's he's, I mean, he's just. I I think it's that kind of that hyper aspect of him. Like he's just. That guy's brain is going at a million miles an hour. Yeah. He's he's definitely calmer now, okay. but he was so much more hyper. I think he's just <laughs> a very hyper person. Um, but yeah, it'd be interesting to see him come back. The other thing, um, I'm excited to play Reach. I never finished it. I really like what I played. I was just like, I really, uh, spoiler alert, but I, when I started, I'm like, I hope everyone dies by the end well, of this. And I didn't finish <laughs> it, but it was damn near heading that direction. I'm like, Good. That's what I wanted. <laughs> yeah. I don't know who's going to survive to the end. I don't even know if it's going to be me, but that that was fun. And the other one I want to play, though, is what, what's the one people always forget about? ODST? Yeah, ODST. Mm-hmm. I hear that one's great. I have it on the Master Chief Collection. That was one of the free ones they give out when it was like really buggy and they're trying to just yeah. save some grace or uh, get some clout with the community. But yeah, I've started it. I haven't gotten too far into it. But um, yeah, no. I forgot about that one too when it actually came out. Yeah. Um, but it's on the Master Chief Collection now. But, Good. Uh, yeah. That's that's probably the one. And I mean, to be fair, I've never really finished the storyline. Of which one? Of ODST? Uh, any of them. Oh, gotcha. gotcha. So I don't really know the plot. Yeah, it gets a bit weird. Yeah. I've I've uh, gone into like uh, videos of the some of the last ones to release, like five, mm-hmm. and uh, really just five. It gets really nuts. Four was also kind of crazy towards the end. Yeah, the way they're just the way they take Cortana and some of the other stuff that's happening with the forerunners, where it starts to get a bit bonkers. Right. Um. But uh, hopefully they kind of reel it in a little bit. But, right. Uh, and then five, I had no idea what was going on. Yeah. But I just watched videos of it. Yeah. But um, yeah. So they they are. It is coming to to PC. Yeah, be cool interesting to see, to see. So we got that coming out. Then we got, mm-hmm. you know, it's it's two thousand and four all over again. We got Halos coming back. We've <laughs> yeah. got Gears of War. You know what? We just had Devil May Cry. Like, <laughs> yeah. So that's one of my little <laughs> stories here. So uh, I was really just gonna pull up the Metacritic and just mm-hmm. how it's. I mean, it's getting good reviews. People are really digging it. Were you a big fan of the of the Devil May Cry series? I, uh, I'm, I'm not really good at those. It's a very technical hack and slash. Gotcha. Um, but I've definitely watched, um, a bit of people playing and they're just like the story. Well, you can sort of see the story coming, Mm. um, from a mile away. It's still what you wanted. Uh, it's good. It's bonkers. It's weird. Right. You get Nero being Nero, which Nero, I'm, I'm glad they kept going with Nero. Uh, cause that was the first real devil may cry I played. And then my buddy made me start playing one. I think it was, um, but De- the one with Nero, Nero was a really interesting character. Yeah. Um, it being that he, he kind of almost matches Dante. Um, and Dante is damn near invincible. Ooh, okay. Um, and then they bring in this new sort of character who looks like something from, you know, a two thousands pop punk band, which I'm totally on board with. I've, his gameplay looks super interesting. Um, yeah, this reminds me. Uh, so is this the new Dante that we're looking at? Or? That so that's Nero. That's Nero. Okay, Nero. And, and, I mean, to be fair, Nero and Dante look a lot alike. Gotcha. Yeah, um, they all kind of. Well, I really. Yeah, I know the. 
just anytime I take a glance at what's going on, it doesn't make any sense to me. Right. But uh, I, don't know, I like that it's out there. But the gameplay looks really cool. Yeah. I love the just. It seems like you're juggling a lot. There's combos. There's yeah. Just like crazy scenes and yeah. I mean, it's very nice that the game is based. I mean, it seems like it's the kind of game where if you want to care, the game will reward you. So yeah. as much as you want to put into this game, that game's gonna give it all right back to you, and that's really it looks really awesome. good too right it wow. is it is a stunner like the facial animation the cutscenes are really like just fun to watch yeah. every everything about this game is is gorgeous especially for imagine when everything starts to to get going and you have just all these enemies on screen like if they can keep that up yeah. that fidelity that's awesome yeah and it's definitely it, it, it's it's just a testament to this engine though, because this is mm. the same engine I guess as the new Resident Evil game. Is it the it's like Ari something engine or? I don't know. Dang, I did not realize that. Yeah, right. So good good on them. Like engine, I mean, it's hard to make engines. Like I mean, nowadays people just use um, Unreal or it, which yeah. there's nothing wrong with using Unreal. It's an absolutely fantastic engine that you can make a wide variety of games with. You could totally make Devil May Cry Five with it. Yeah. Um, but it's interesting to see, you know, these cool, you know, house made engines for these things. I know uh, um, the sequel or sorry, the remake of two was also on that same engine. Oh, was and, it? Uh, yeah. Yeah. And it was. Yeah, they did a good job. It was great. It's a good looker. My Googling power really sucks right now. It doesn't have the best skin tech in the world. Like, the skin mm. looks kind of weird, but their facial animation looks great. Um, yeah. It's not quite as good as, like, that last... Uh, shoot. What are those... Oh, so uh, the Ari engine is what we're talking about. Right. Yeah, there we go. It's not quite as good as the, the face tech on... What was that one fighting game? Uh, Injustice. Oh. Did you see the face tech on that? Yeah, the, especially the last one was nuts. It's crazy. Really, really good. Which is still uh, Nether Realm, right? Whatever the because they still developed uh, yeah Justice too, right? And it, it was kind of funny too because my my buddy, um, I was in Chicago at the time, and I guess so. That's where Nether Realm is. And uh, my buddy, uh, it turns out one of his friends was so the the heads, I guess were sort of mapped sort of to the actor that was doing the voice acting, okay. but the bodies were not. They were based on the body doubles. Oh, um, so, so stitching the, all this stuff together. Yeah, so that's why the head and like the, the neck up and the body doesn't necessarily – it's a little bit weird. Okay. Um, but it was definitely interesting when my buddy found out that uh, – I think it was Supergirl um, – was his friend. Really? Yeah, the body for Supergirl was his friend. Oh, the body. And gotcha. and then after she pointed it out, he goes, "That's totally your body." <laughs> He's like, "That's so weird. That's not your face, <laughs> but that's your body." Wow. And it's like that's that's neat. <laughs> so, he's just look at the abs and look at the character like, "Whoa." Well, in his words, it was like <laughs> In his words, it was a very small body but still sizable boobs. I'm like, gotcha. "Thanks, bud." <laughs> that was <the> <laughs> But that is cool. Um, we're kind of reaching the end here. So this was a small one. All right, well, games for you and guys. Good. But uh, yeah, so happen. this was end of uh, last week. But uh, so, and you, we talked about the week before that where the Vita was basically dead in the U.S., no more uh, uh, production. So this is kind of like, I don't know, an FU almost to all Vita users, but they've unlocked an iOS, which they've already had on certain Android games yeah. on PlayStation, the ability to stream your game. Huh. Um, you can't apparently use the actual wireless controller yet. It's just touchscreen um, oh. ability, which, okay. How but, am uh, I, I going to play, play my Tekken while I'm on the paper? <laughs> yeah. Well, good luck. But, uh, yeah, so this is always their big thing with Sony that, you know, any PS4 game is, is on the go with the, sw with the, yeah. with the Vita. And um, now they've kind of used that to just, just have it on your phone and then just say, just get out of here. But, um, yeah, just without the ability to use your controller – on your phone as well. No. I don't see the point of doing that at all. I I mean, it really to to me it just depends on what game you're playing. Like if you got to have that quick reaction speed or you got to have really tactile stuff, then yeah, it's not going to work. But no. I know um, back back when smartphones were first getting to be a thing before Android and iPhones may have been out at the time, but I had like this crappy uh, 
Windows smartphone. Oh, okay. And I had this great little emulator, and you know, but it's still a touchscreen phone. So yeah. the only game I would play was Pokemon on it. Okay. And if you're playing a turn-based RPG, oh, they go, it's brilliant, especially when you can turn it off. Yeah. And pick it back up right like you can, kind of like with the Switch, which I love. Um, it's it's fantastic just to be able to whip it out when you need it and then yeah. put it away. Okay. So I think that'd be great for the phone. I That's true with games that aren't yeah, like you mentioned that uh, you don't have to really don't have crazy controls. I don't know what That's I'd cool. play. I mean, I get. Right. I imagine fans of like Stardew Valley will be excited. Yeah. Or but there's already mobile versions of that, right? So why would you really? Oh, okay. I imagine. Probably. Or at least on Switch, I know there's some something like that out oh, there. Oh, sure. But uh, yeah, I just really don't know who that's for. But I guess that that's cool. But yeah. it was just kind of a a burn to hear to have that after them officially killing the Vita because the Vita was also be able, being able to do that and you had dedicated buttons for that. Oh. Thing. oh okay. Yeah, you could stream or you could cast your footage on your PS4 onto your um onto your Vita and play mm-hmm. in real time if you had good Wi-Fi. Yeah. But um, yeah, there is that. Um, let's see. Our next one was this uh, kind of thing that went around the news. There was like a the w- w- what was thought of as a leaked uh, Google controller um, wasn't actually legit, but it oh. also plays into Google's kind of plans to start some kind of streaming box of some sort. Yeah, it should be interesting. Yeah, uh, you know what? I wasn't mad at this controller. It, it doesn't look comfy though. <laughs> it it reminds cool. me of my Ouya controller. Yeah, that's 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 similar. That's very similar. It looks so smooth that you're probably just gonna drop it. But um, oh. I don't know. I like that look, though. At the same time, I was not mad at that. But apparently, this was not real. It was based yeah. on a on a the old patent they had uh, in 2014, and then someone actually made a visual based on that patent. Mm. But um, that still does play into the fact that they are set up to do some kind of announcement for their streaming service, yeah. um, which is very soon. So March 19th, they're actually going to announce whatever they're doing. They're mm. teasing little bits of it. But um, yeah, and I. D- uh, I got to play a little bit of uh, Assassin's Creed when they uh, announced that. Yeah, ran pretty smooth. It did actually. So I was, you know, I was, I was uh, surprised, and I was uh, now I'm kind of on board with, with with whatever they do. Yeah. Um, yeah. If I can get that actual controller, I'm not mad at that either. But it definitely be one of those like. At least if we had the Google game box then like their pre-catered ads to me on all their platforms would be at least a little that's more true accurate. it would automatically <laughs> download the game that it knows you're gonna buy it's like yeah you, you got it well, you wouldn't right. have to download anything because it's on the cloud so it's already on there so right there's... that's true dang we'll see i don't i just want somebody to do something innovative in the cloud scene and just i think being able to play stuff on the cloud isn't innovative enough for me it's just mm. well it seems like all you know three big companies are are kind of getting set to do something there. You know, we have Google doing something. Uh One of the news stories is Xbox and how they, just today they kind of uh, announced a time frame for the rolling out a beta of their streaming service. Um, If I can find that. Just now announcing this? Yeah, so they had an inside Xbox, I want to say they call those things. It's Mm. like a Oh, yeah, yeah. I watched a bit of it. Yeah, it was uh, cringy. Gotcha. I haven't seen it, but uh, (laughs) I just took some of the news from it. But uh, they have already announced their the Project X Cloud, but mm-hmm. this gives them more of a timetable. They want to roll out a beta and start having people test it out very soon. Hmm. But um, yeah, and so, so they they apparently in that in that inside Xbox they had someone playing Forza on their phone, you know, with an Xbox controller. Well, but so they're getting into that whole streaming world. Um, PS4 already has that ability, um, at least locally with a with a, an actual PS4. Yeah. But um, so I imagine they have something set up, you know, in the wing. Yeah. To to also do that, but I'm I mean, I just like the fact with Microsoft doing it, that's one more device I can cross play with. Right, right. Right. And if you take a simple game like I mean, I say simple, I've never played it, but Sea of Thieves mm. where it's like if I can, you know, have my 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 nephew or something, whatever, like an example would be like so Sea of Thieves, like you have an Xbox, right? Yeah. So you could play Sea of Thieves. I could be playing on my PC. You have your little nephew playing on your phone yep. or on his phone. We're all going doing this stuff together. And wasn't there that rumor about allowing the Microsoft? Um, the Nintendo? Yeah, on the Nintendo. Yeah. Like, that'd be honestly fantastic. Yeah. I would be all Which that kind of plays train. into that, whether it, they're using Microsoft's tech or Nintendo with their, you know, if they have something, uh, some kind of streaming ability. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that plays into that for sure. Can you imagine having the next, like, 
because of that, you can have the graph. I mean, you can basically have the graphics on the Switch be as good as you want at that yeah. point. Can you imagine the next Zelda coming out on the, That'd be awesome. on the cloud? That'd be awesome. Yeah. I, although someone recently too, I think it was on Kotaku, they took the uh, I saw it, yeah. yeah the footage of uh, of um, some well, well, I'm blanking on the Zelda, but um, not the Wrath of the Wild. Wrath of the Wild. Wrath of the Wild. The yeah, mod. without the actual like cell shading and you yeah. can see the graphics. It looked cool. I, yeah, it was definitely. I'm glad someone did it because I always kind of wondered. Mm. Yeah. I mean, although I do like that art style, but but yeah, yeah. for sure. Uh, let's see our last little one. We kind of jumped over, but um. Just EA not officially being at E3. It's kind of shaping everything up for just a weirder E3, I feel like, this year. But um, um, PS4 yeah. or, or Sony's not going to be there. Um, EA usually does something. They're uh, opting out. Um, really, Xbox is just kind of like, okay, they just kind of can open up their <laughs> you know, their arms and, and do whatever they want and just and really kind of take over that show. But, yeah. yeah, I wonder if that's kind of just showing that these companies are really – opting to to kind of control their message and have their own little events whenever they want to yeah. announce something they can announce it and they're not stuck in this old old, old yeah. mold i mean yeah that's the thing like e3 hasn't really had a purpose in a long time it used to be bringing in like buyers from walmart and kmart get them yeah. into a room show them what they need to be buying and putting on their shelves and giving getting space for now i mean they just send out this stuff all the time online there's no point to e3 that being said, I mean, it was always fun to declare a winner. That's right. Right. Like, yeah. And I think last year was so cool with Microsoft and it's, you know, it's, I don't think we've ever had a back to back winner mm. like declared winner. I think Microsoft has a chance to do it again this year. Yeah. Like Just at least for the fact that no one else is going to be there, but, right. but still <laughs> right. they also have some stuff. I'm, I'm sure some awesome announcements. Yeah. I think Bethesda has got a lot of, did they? They should opt out. They should kind of go silent this year. I think. Yeah. I feel like last year they were so eager to make some other kind of announcement against, um, against, uh, um, Jesus, um, the actual release of of um, Fallout, 76. Fallout 76. Yeah. That they, you know, jumped the gun somewhat on like their other uh, next, you know, the big lineups for like uh-huh. uh, Elder Scrolls and that other space one. Yeah, that was weird. Why even announce? Especially the space one. That one, they're just like, hey, we're making it. At least they had a little kind of intro well, for We've known it. they've been making it for like years and years. Gotcha. Well, no, I guess no, we didn't know. Did we know? Not officially, right? I know they had plans for it, but they always said that we can't make it until the technology exists. So, like, I don't know. Maybe now that streaming exists, yeah. they're going to have the Bethesda streaming service for <laughs> Star Forge. What's it called again? It's something like that. Star. Shoot. Star Scream. Star Scream? But yeah, um, so right, and I think they they're just trying to like reach for announcements to kind of just yeah. to go against that. But uh, it's gonna be weird too having an E three without the Reginator. Oh yeah, so he's gone. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, the newer guy right is Bowser or something. I yeah. just think of Bowser now for yeah. sure. But no, it was great, great <laughs> last name. What was funny too was uh, I was watching this like. Uh, you know, you look at Doug Bowser and then for some reason this old Mega 64 video mm. popped up where they're like trying to break into Nintendo and uh, in find their secret E3 gameplay stuff. <laughs> and like I could see Bowser in like not even in the background background of the videos. He was like sitting next to Reggie <laughs> at a meeting. He's just like, oh, there he is. That's awesome. He looks so much younger. <laughs> but, <laughs> but So he's been there. Yeah, he's been there. I mean, I'm sure he knows what's going on. And yeah. was on a good track. It was just, I mean, but Reggie, I mean, Reggie was the meme machine. He was. Yeah, you got to the point where you're excited to see him because he was just, yeah. He, yeah. he brought all those memes and he just seemed like a cool <laughs> dude too. Like, Yeah. Yeah. I like, like everyone would invite him to their, you know, backyard barbecue <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> he's holding his own, I'm sure. Now he's free to, to do whatever he wants. Yeah. Um, I mean, that was it. That was it for some of the big news that happened. It was a good week. Yeah, interesting week. Um, definitely want to see where division's going. Yeah, how long do you think you're gonna wait on before you jump into division? Basically, till I just get a paycheck where mm. I can pay my bills and buy the game. Gotcha. <laughs> that's that's fair. But I I'm so excited. I hope my PC can run at a decent uh, rate. It looks it looks gorgeous too. That's yeah. the thing. Like what looking at footage, seeing the variety of like all the places you're going into and how much they flesh it out. That's cool. 
Like it kind of reminds me of like how fleshed out the levels look in Rainbow Six Siege. Like those levels have mm. personality. They were crafted with care. And you go into these ones, and it's like, oh, something. I feel like I can piece together a bit of like what was happening before you know I came in this room. Gotcha. Um, yeah, that was kind of my you know one of my issues with uh, the first one was that it was very much you just it's a snowy kind of New York yeah. abandoned New York, which is a cool idea on its own too. Yeah. But because it all looked like that, it was, you know, I could tell what footage I was looking at, what point in the game. Right. But uh, yeah. I did see some of the streams this morning of. Uh, of Division Two, I th- there was just this random uh, uh, level, or uh, they were gonna fight this. Uh, it was a boss that was shooting these like rocket launcher things. Yeah. But the the whole room, it's like underground, goes dark, and then he's just like this flamethrower thing is what you what? see, <laughs> and it illuminate the, the lighting changes beca- changes because of that. Wow. It just looked really dope. Um, but yeah, and then they just start you know going at it. But uh, yeah, that are that copy come I already is that they're actually changing stuff up, changing, yeah. changing the environment. Uh, uh, yeah. Um. I'm way more interested now than I was before. Yeah. And that that's the other thing I've been seeing, too. It's just those cool. I haven't seen that. That sounds like yeah. dope as hell. Yeah, IGN was playing uh, this morning. But yeah. yeah. But just having cool little set pieces. Every little raid has like a, at least like, and not raid, but whatever they're called right now, forts or whatever. I'm not sure. Yeah. So once you get past the main starter story, then it seems like you have like an intro to the end game story where you're just going through and defeating these hard kind of dungeon areas. Mm. Which it sounds like after you do that, it's going to be the raid soon or something, which are just going to be harder versions, which is like, oh, gotcha. that sounds like fun. Just give me challenges. Give yeah. me lots of challenges. Give me loot so I can do harder challenges. I'm down. Super yeah. down. That's awesome. Uh, it does seem like, yeah, they're really taking uh, into account the end game stuff and focusing on that and, yeah. and giving people that. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. And that's what really keeps these games going is that care mm. into the end game because it Everyone will, a lot of people will find that, you know, within like three days of the actual yeah. thing releasing, which is nuts. But yeah. yeah. And it seems like a good long grind even to get to it. I guess like the okay. main start story is like 20 hours. Gotcha. And then who knows how long the knocking out all the little dungeons and get, getting grinded up to 30 is going to be. So mm. it's cool. And you can close the doors. That's, you could, that's still a thing where you can close the car doors as you walk by. <laughs> I've seen that. Wait, was that in the original? Yeah, that was uh, one of the trailers of that. That like years ago they did an E3 yeah. trailer. Everyone but cheered for it. I remember yeah, it. Yeah, and you could so you could still do that. So, so yeah. Oh, I didn't know that I actually mm-hmm. made it into the game. What a ridiculous feature! <laughs> what a what it's an just unnecessary feature. It's like you adjust the you know the river mirror every time you walk <laughs> by, or like tuck people in. Check or your makeup or yeah. something. <laughs> as you're doing. Yeah, but no, that's that's awesome. I like that that detail, and it, it made it in the sequel too. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, man, that's it. Oh, that's all we got. Yes. And so uh, we'll end this thing. Um, you can find me on, I think I put it back to Fonzie Pants. Yeah, Fonzie Pants with a Z Fonzie on Twitter. Pants. And Gavin, where can they find you? Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Drunk Devs. Awesome. All right. We'll see you later.